Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to use a torque wrench. Also don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on the link in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There are a few different styles of torque wrenches available on the market, but for this video here I'll be using a click type which is probably the most common. Other types include the beam type, dial, digital, slipper, and no hub. Here I have both an inch pound torque wrench and a foot pound torque wrench. Both also have readings on the opposite side in newton meters too. First off, torque wrenches are available in a certain torque span, which is why you may need more than one. Here I have a 3 8 drive inch pound torque wrench that goes from 50 to 250 inch pounds. Inch pounds are a finer increment than compared to foot pounds. Next I have a half inch drive foot pound torque wrench that has a range of 30 to 150 foot pounds. A torque wrench is a very precise piece of equipment, therefore four tips you should know about ownership is to never drop them, do not use them as a Johnson bar to loosen tight fasteners, always keep them clean, and return the scale to its lowest torque range. Now to set the torque wrench. They should have some form of a lock which needs to be disengaged, then rotate. For this example, this is a twist lock on the foot-pound torque wrench. Disengage and then rotate the handle. Determining the torque specs for whatever you are working on. For example, I'll be working with a wheel. Now if you are searching for your lug nut or lug stud torque value, I do have a huge database available on my website, including a majority of vehicles found worldwide. The link will be included in the description below. For this vehicle here, it's a 1998 Ford Ranger. Looking on the chart based on the model, then we'll see a year range next, and finally the torque values I have listed for the different measurements. Considering we are working with foot-pounds, we will be using the value of 100 foot-pounds. Rotate the handle and then line up the scale correctly. We will have larger increments on the barrel scale, so there will be 10 foot-pounds in between each number. Then to set up the single value increments, the scale around the handle is needed for that. Align the number line on the handle with the center line on the barrel. So considering this is 100 foot-pounds, the handle number line will be at zero. If we were to use 105 foot-pounds, then align it to 5. Next, ensure the lock has been applied, otherwise you do risk adjusting the setting when torquing a fastener. Using one hand to hold the pivot in place, then the other hand on the handle. So you're able to see the handle click, I'll leave my hand off to the side for demonstration purposes. Then rotate the torque wrench until it clicks. You should be able to hear, feel, and see the click. As soon as the click activates, immediately stop turning. One click is all that's needed, otherwise you do risk over tightening the fastener. For tutorial purposes, I am demonstrating more than one click so you're able to see the tension limit activated on the torque wrench. Now moving on to another example, using the inch-pound torque wrench. Again the same principle, this too does have a form of a lock which needs to be pulled back. Rotate the handle to the correct value and then release and it will automatically lock it into place. For this application, each of the bolts need to be torqued to 20 foot-pounds. But the inch-pound torque wrench does not read in foot-pounds, so a simple conversion is needed. 1 foot is equal to 12 inches, therefore 20 multiplied by 12 is 240. Just as an example, I will set this to 230 inch-pounds. Therefore, the zero will need to be aligned on the handle. When setting the torque value to 240 inch-pounds, therefore you will need to go past the 230 mark and align the handle to the tenth increment. Place one hand on the pivot point and the other hand on the handle, then rotate until you hear a click. Again, only one click is needed. As mentioned before, when done with the torque wrench, position the scale back to its lowest position, otherwise this will jeopardize the accuracy of the torque wrench. New videos are being uploaded every week to my channel, so show your support by clicking on that subscribe button below my video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.